The Earl Realm Wars are over and the winner isn't who you think. Forget the ETH killers, forget the Solana summer hype, because while you were looking the other way, a silent assassin just put up a performance metric that should have every other blockchain team terrified. This isn't a testnet claim. This isn't a theoretical maximum. This is live data right now, just in the last week, showing one blockchain processing over 1,000 transactions per second natively, fully decentralized on chain. And if your portfolio doesn't have exposure to what I'm about to show you, you're about to get left behind. Stay with me because in the next 10 minutes, I'm breaking down exactly what this means and the one coin that's setting up for a massive bull run. Welcome back to the channel legends. It's me, Domenico. Let's cut the fluff in the crypto. There's one metric that separates the toys from the actual titans. Real world measurable transactions per second or TPS. It's a heartbeat of a blockchain. It tells you if you can actually handle global scale. Now you heard the promises. We'll do with our 100,000 TPS, a million TPS with our new layer two, but just wait for the next upgrade. It's all noise. But last week, something critical happened. An independent analytics firm Chainspect dropped the real weekly performance numbers and the results are shocking. We are talking actual TPS numbers. That's right. The internet computer, ICP, is not just in the lead, it's dominating. And it did it while Solana, for its hype, is sitting in second place. And remember, Solana has a market cap of over $100 billion. And ICP is under a $2 billion market cap. But here's a kicker in all of this. And why this isn't just another number go round up story, the way ICP is actually achieving this is so fundamentally different, so architecturally superior that it makes every other blockchain look like it's stuck in 2015. And you can see here with ICP had a TPS of 1,082, pretty much 100 TPS faster than Solana in second place at 985.8, Trucks at 636.2, BNB at a measly 270.5. And just look at the BNB and Solana's market cap. They are massive compared to ICP. Because this isn't just a speed test. This is an actual warning shot. And today you're getting the full breakdown. So how are they doing this? To understand why this is a game changer, you need to understand the dirty secret of most fast blockchains. Most of them... They are faking it, basically. They use side chains, which are separate, less secure change. They use off-chain computation, which means your transaction isn't even fully settled on the main network. It's like a restaurant claiming they're the fastest, but they're just microwaving pre-cooked meals from next door. It's not the real thing. And the internet computer, it's cooking everything from scratch in a five-star kitchen at pace that would make Gordon Ramsay blush. And it does it through four revolutionary technologies. Firstly, think of it of this as a blockchain universal translator. It allows their smart contracts, which they call canisters, to talk to each other and to other blockchains directly and securely, fully decentralized on chain. No dependencies or bridges needed without clunky and obviously those hackable bridges, which I just mentioned. This is a bigger deal than you think because it's seamless interoperability on a level no one else has. And this is why I believe not financial advice, ICP will be at the heart of the Web3 infrastructure because of this technology. It can bridge Solana, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, which are the pretty much three biggest market caps in the crypto sphere. This is a secret source for scaling. Instead of trying to make, say, one single giant blockchain faster, which has a hard limit, ICP just adds more blockchains called subnets. But here's the magic. They're all cryptographically linked. Working in parallel, it's like adding more lanes to a highway infinitely instead of just telling everyone to drive faster on a single lane. This is horizontal scaling, and it's the only way to achieve true, safe web scale. And your average smart contract can't even serve a simple JPEG on chain. ICP's canisters can run at full web speed. They can process a transaction and serve a website, a video, 
an entire DAP front end, back end directly from the blockchain. No need for Amazon Web Services or any centralized service. It is 100% fully on chain application. This is the future of Web3 and it is running today on the War Computer ICP. And finally, this is the big one. Every other major blockchain, yes, even Bitcoin and Ethereum, their validators are running on. Wait for it. Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and other centralized cloud providers. It's a great hypocrisy. And ICP is the only one in Web3 designed from the ground up to replace the traditional cloud. Its data centers are independent and the network runs on its own sovereign infrastructure. Let me say that again. ICP doesn't need Amazon, Azure, or any other centralized cloud. Because what the others do in a world worried about decentralized and single points of failure, ICP can do it fully decentralized on chain without any bridges or dependencies. In an era of AI adoption, which is going to start blooming next year with the productivity boom in AI, cybercrime is only going to go parabolic from here. And ICP is the only solution to be able to run that AI and that data fully decentralized without any dependencies or bridges to keep it safe and secure. All right. We know this tech is mind blowing. We know that. But what does this mean for you and me right now today? First, this performance data is a massive signal of validation. We're no longer dealing with promises and roadmaps. We have live real world data provide that this architecture works for developers. This is a siren call. Because with the launch of Caffeine AI, you can build truly decentralized apps that are scalable, that are fully on chain, where you own your data, you control your data, and you can code in natural language. So you don't need to be a coder. You can talk and build whatever you like. And it's a reality ICP. And eventually, this is where the developers will go and flock there. And with this integration with GitHub that Dom was talking about the other day, it's just a matter of time, three months, six months, nine months. Caffeine AI will go parabolic. It's just a matter of time. This is going to create a staggering moat for the ecosystem. As you think about it, you just can't copy and paste this tech. We are talking here today, decades and decades and decades and decades of research and development and cryptographic breakthroughs. They have the smartest cryptographic minds from Zurich ETH University that are the best. They're all ex-Google, ex-IBM. While other chains are playing catch up with yesterday's problems, ICP has built the foundation for tomorrow's entire internet, data, and decentralized cloud. So what should you do? One, you become a student. Just don't take my word for this. It's not financial advice. Go to the Definitive website. I'll put all the links in the description. Read the documentation for yourself. See the dApps are being built right now. Look up ICP dApps and be prepared to have your mind blown. From LinkedIn alternatives to TikTok clones, all running 100% fully decentralized on-chain. Analyze the narrative. The narrative is shifting from speculated asset to a central tech infrastructure. And also just ignore the price action because the price action over the long term doesn't determine the fundamental value of a project. Even once upon a time, Amazon went from $100 to $6. Everyone said, Amazon is dead. It's going to go nowhere. And even Bezos, later on, many many years after, in interviews talking about as Amazon's price has gone to like 10, 5, 6, cratering, the actual metrics within Amazon are so fucking bullish. Like They're just getting better and better and better. And it's like the same thing with ICP. Like I started buying ICP and it was like $10. And now we're at $3. And... The fundamental value and the metrics and the utility is so much better now than when I bought it at $10. So, so that's what you've got to look at because that's what's going to drive the long-term price. The, long, the value is going to drive the long-term price. There's no two ways about it. It ends up becoming a weighing machine to value in the long run. So because assets that do provide that fundamental utility, like what the war computer is doing, is powerful and they will weather bear markets, they'll weather this leverage manipulation in prices, they'll leverage what's happening in the repo market and the blah, blah, blah with the banks that, you know, they're having liquidity issues. But, you know, these are just all permanent brushovers. 
you know, we're going to get the perfect storm in 2026. The AI productivity boom, the rate cuts, the inflation, the leveraging, they're going to pump the system into the midterms. And like caffeine utility is going to go through the roof. Like we're going to get that perfect storm in 26 sometimes. Because you know what? ICP isn't a meme coin. This is a foundational bet on the future of the internet itself. You know, we're not looking just next year. We're looking 27, 28, into the 2030s. This is a revolutionary shift in data and the internet itself. Manage your risk. I'm not telling you to go all in, but this is not financial advice, but do your research because this is due diligence. But if you're not at least allocating, in my opinion, not financial advice, a portion of your tech moonshot portfolio to this project that is objectively, verifiably leading in core blockchain performance, you're not doing your job as an investor. The crypto space is noisy. There's a lot of FUD. There's a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of look here, look here, look here, look there. Distractions because it's full of influences. There's shilling coins that just have no purpose, no tech, and no future at all. And they have market caps multiples larger than what ICP has today. But every once in a while, the data cuts through all that bullshit noise. A project proves itself not with a hype, but with the actual on-chain performance. With code, with undeniable on-chain metrics. ICP just did that in the last week. They are the undisputed verified performance king of layer one. And that is, this has been going for a while. And the market hasn't even begun to price it in. Because the train will eventually leave the station. The question is, when it leaves, are you going to be on board? If this video opened your eyes, then you need to get out there, do your research, dig into it, look into the metrics, click in the links, and see it for yourself. Smash that like button. Let's get this one information out and share this with a friend who's still stuck in Web2, who's still listening to the fraudsters. They need to know this and what ICP as an ecosystem offers. Subscribe and hit that notification bell because it's time for everyone to wake up that are asleep on the wheel. And comment below, I want to know your thoughts and what's the most impressive part of ICP's tech to you, the speed or is it the fact that it's replacing the cloud? And let's get a discussion going. This is more than a coin, than a crypto. This is a movement. This is the beating heart foundation of Web3 and it will be the beating heart of the Web3 future into the 2030s and beyond. And right now, we are early. You don't understand how we are early. Like caffeine is just a small piece of the puzzle of what ICP and the raw computer ecosystem has to offer. ICP has a 20-year roadmap. It's massive. You know what I mean? People are always looking at the short term, but they're not looking way further out. So stay hungry, do your research, stay curious, and definitely stay decentralized, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.